What is up, worship team? Gary here. Hope everybody is healthy and is hanging tough. Normally when I send out an email of announcements to you guys, it's just that. It's an actual email that you read. But I decided to make a video this time because it looks like this is pretty much how we're going to be doing things, at least for a little while. So I've got a ton of information for you right now. I'll try to keep it as short as I can. So to help you stay plugged in and informed during the Corona apocalypse, here are your top 10 worship team announcements. Uh Number one, update on Zach Lincoln. Many of you guys know that our violin player, Zach Lincoln, was taken to the intensive care unit early last week because he got really, really sick. He is doing better and he is responding slowly but surely to treatment. He does not have coronavirus. I repeat, he has been tested negative for the big bad COVID-19. Rather, he has pneumonia in both of his lungs. They're inflamed. There was a little bit of fluid there and he seems to be doing better. I've actually got a picture to show you of him in the hospital. I've been in contact contact with his mom. So he's getting better. It's just taking a little while, but I'm sure he would appreciate some texts, some emails. And as always, make sure you continue to pray for him and his family. Number two, what's going on with our church? Well, as you know, we're pretty much shut down. All meetings, large group activities, and scheduled events have been postponed or rescheduled. After meeting with the rest of the staff this week, it looks like that could be as late as the beginning of May. <laughs> Obviously, it could be sooner than that, and I personally think it would really, really be cool if our first Sunday back in a normal service was Easter Sunday. So let's pray for that, let's hope for that, but until then, continue to do whatever it is that you think you have to do to keep your family safe and healthy during this time. Number three, so what the heck is going on with worship at the church? I'm glad you asked. For this coming Sunday, March 22nd, the staff is gonna be putting together one more video that we're gonna be showing using some of the footage filmed last week. But going forward, Forward, we are going to have to record some new material and eventually I think stream live like we were doing before but kind of in a different way. So for the next few weeks we'll be putting together a full worship team. We'll still have drums, we'll have bass and we'll be playing and singing through some songs. We'll probably need some tech people for that as well. So we're going to be streaming slash recording and it's just going to look a little different than usual. If that sounds a little vague that's because it is vague. This entire situation is new territory not just for the staff but for the entire church church all over the world. The good news is this is an amazing opportunity to start innovating and experimenting and trying things to up the production value of our entire operation. So please continue to be flexible, be patient with us, and work with us in the next several weeks. Number four, so what can you do to help during this time? Well, here's an easy one. Just check on each other. Many of us are cooped up at home. We might be taking care of or trying to teach our kids. There can be a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety during this time. But if there are people on the worship team that you've gotten particularly close to, maybe other people in your section, other vocalists or guitar players or whatever, give those people a shout, send a text message, send a phone call or a Facebook and just check on them and say, how are you guys doing? Do you need anything? If possible, I encourage you guys to do a FaceTime or a Skype call or a Zoom if you know what that is. I think there's something about being able to see each other's faces that's going to be helpful in the days and the weeks to come. Number five, we should also be checking on the people in our congregation who are part of that at-risk population that we've been reading about in the news. If you know of people in our church who are elderly, who are past maybe we'll say the age of 70, shoot those people a phone call or something and just see how they're doing, see if they're healthy, see what they need. That population also includes people who might struggle with mental health issues, depression, anxiety, all that kind of stuff. The next several weeks are gonna be tough on people. So if there are folks in our congregation, in your life group, or maybe even your neighbors or people in your immediate area, don't be afraid to reach out to those folks and just see how they're doing. Number six, one more thing that you can do to get involved is that we have turned... Number six, one more thing you can do to get involved is that we have turned the Journey Church into a drop-off point for food. You might know that we are really big on trying to feed children at the Journey, and with all the schools shut down, there are a lot of kids out there that depend on those meals that they get at school. So from now until the end of the week, we have turned the Journey Church into a curbside drop-off location for non-perishable food that we're going to distribute to these kids. Between the hours of 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. or between 5 and 7 p.m. 
PM. For more information about that, I'm gonna include a couple of links down in the description below, so check it out. Number seven, don't forget to pray for our Compassion International kids. You might remember that we as a worship team are sponsoring two children from Colombia. It is Fernanda and Diana, and they are right here. I've been in contact with Compassion International, and as of right now, they are having to change the way that they minister to these kids because of the coronavirus. So they're no longer meeting in large groups to teach these kids like they used to be, but they're still checking in periodically to make sure that they have enough food to attend to their medical needs. Remember to pray for our Compassion International kids. I also received a couple of letters from these kids and I will attach them to this email so you can take a look and make sure you do because they're adorable. Number eight, wash your hands and sing the Lord's praise. There's a lot of stuff circulating online right now that says that it takes about 20 seconds to wash your hands, but it also takes about that same amount of time to either say the Lord's prayer or to sing the doxology, if you guys know what that is. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. If we have to be washing our hands constantly for the next couple of weeks anyway, every time you wash your hands, why don't you just sing the chorus of one of your favorite worship songs? What a beautiful name or way maker or cornerstone. Wash your hands, sing a worship chorus, pray for your friends, your family, or your neighbors, or our compassion kids. That's a really simple way that we can keep the Lord at the forefront of our minds every time we wash our hands during this time. Number nine, watch some cool videos. If you're stuck at home and you're bored, or your kids are stressing you out or you just need something else to do, I'm gonna include a bunch of links down in the description below of this video. I spend way too much time on YouTube anyway and in the course of that, I come across a lot of videos that I think are really cool. So check down in the description below if you need something to watch or something to pass the time. I'm gonna include a couple of devotional videos from some of my favorite speakers and pastors, music videos from some powerhouse worship songs, and I'll include a couple of music related things that I just think are really cool and you should watch them. And finally, number 10, let's stay connected. Down underneath this video, there is a comment section where you can write in and basically say anything you want. And I would love to hear from you guys. Let's get a comment stream going write in and tell us a little bit about how you and your family are staying busy and staying sane right now. I would love to hear a little bit about where you see God at work, any specific things that I can be praying about for you guys as a worship team, and share some more links with cool worship videos or sermon links. Whatever you think, whatever is on your mind, write down in the comment section below and let's just get a little bit of information stream going so that we can stay connected as a team. Thanks again, stay encouraged, take care of each other out there, and I'll be back with more soon. Stay cool, stay blessed, and stay in touch.